In the previous session, uh, we have seen how to write a Verilog code for the inverter. In today's session, we will see how to write a Verilog code and a test bench for the buffer. A buffer uh, is a circuit which defines or which provides an electrical impedance of transformation from one circuit to the another circuit. If we just see the digital symbol of the buffer, uh, let us define uh, the digital symbol of uh, the buffer. A buffer has a, a single input and a single output. So let us define uh, the input as a particular variable which is A and the output which is B. So the buffer uh, when we just see the two table or when we just see the functioning of the particular buffer the output uh, which is B follows the particular input. If we define uh, the truth table for the particular buffer so we have told it as uh, the input uh, with a particular variable uh, which is A and the output which is B and we have told uh, the functionality of the particular buffer is that the output follows the particular input. Let us define uh, with uh, respect to uh, the digital values which is in terms of 0 and 1. So suppose if the input is 0, suppose if the input is 0, then the output is 0. If the input is 0, then the output is 0. If uh, the input is 1, then the output is 1. If the input is 1, the output is 1. So as uh, we have told uh, the working of the buffer the output follows the particular input so we will write a very long code for the buffer and we have told that in very long code we do have a fewer instructions uh, rather than in vhdl in Verilog code, the first statement or the first instructions to define the starting of the Verilog code is module, module and followed by the name of the particular file which is written and it is, let us define uh, this as buffer followed by the ports list and when we just see the digital symbol of the particular buffer we have one input and one output. So we will define the ports list as a variable A as the input and variable B as the particular output and next we will define the port declaration input as A and output as B and we will have the body declaration with a particular continuous assignment statement which is called as assign which assigns the value on a net and we have told that output follows the input so output with a variable which is equal to b which is following the input which is an equality sign which is equal to a so this is the body declaration of the particular buffer and we have started uh, with the module and we need to end with the particular module. So this is the program uh, for 
the buffer and uh, we can say that the output is following the input where we are defining b with an equality sign of a. Next we will write the test bench for the particular buffer. To verify the functionality of the Verilog code, we are writing an another Verilog code where we are defining the particular inputs uh, which is called as the test bench. So again we will start with the module with the module name. and an extinction of TB which is called as the test bench. Next we will define the inputs and the outputs of the test bench. The inputs are defined as reg, reg which is called as the register uh, which is a storage value or which holds the value of a variable. We will define a particular variable which is t underscore a or any variable you can write. Next we will define an another port declaration which is called as wire. The wire sends the value of a variable to the output which is the wire and we will define a particular variable which is called as t underscore v b. Next instruction is we need to interlink the program that is written with the test bench which is called as the unit under test which is an unit under test or it is called as UUT. So we will link the inputs as A and next what we do have a test bench input which is called as T underscore A. Next we will define the output as b and we have the output uh, with respect to the test bench which is t underscore b and we will start the initial statement that would mean that you are starting the particular simulation by defining the inputs as initial begin and we are monitoring the particular signals uh, which is in terms of the input and the output and we do have a instruction which is called as dollar monitor for the monitoring of the signals which is t underscore a for the input, t underscore b for the particular output and next we will define the inputs. We will define the inputs, t underscore a is the input and we will assign the particular values. If let us say we will just assign a, a value, a binary value of 0 uh, which stands for uh, 1 bit of the representation and the assigned value for the 1 bit of the representation is 0. So the simulation starts from 0 and for the next 5 nanoseconds the simulation input would be 
0 that is from 0 to 5 and from next 5 nanoseconds that is from 6 to 10 the input changes to 1 whatever values we can just give so what uh, we are defining it is it is the input and we are assigning a value with a one bit of representation and the one bit of representation of the assigned value is one so you can give n number of inputs and when we just simulate this accordingly we do get the particular output so for this particular value we are assigning the input as zero and after simulation the output would be also be equal to zero so we will just define another four inputs for next five nanoseconds uh, we will just define the input as one again for the next five nanoseconds we will define the input as zero and you can define n number of inputs so we have started uh, the statements with initial begin so we are ending the particular statement and again uh, we we have started uh, with the module declaration next what we need to do we need to end the module with the particular declaration so uh, this is uh, the experiment of how to write a Verilog code and a test bench for the particular buffer.